So, I would now like to welcome Beth to open up the topic of uh, cultivating uh, youth entrepreneurial leaders in schools. So, Beth, Thank you. I'm walking very slowly yes, across yes. here. She warned <laughs> that it was slippery. Um, it is. It is really an honor to be here. Uh, it is for me as a as a college uh, educator, being with educators who embrace and work with the students we see before they enter um, is incredible. And the reason why we came up with this idea of the unconference, actually, it was Shavesh's idea, um, and I, lo I love the thought, it's because it embraces the way we teach entrepreneurship. Um, so when you think about what does it take to create someone with a growth mindset, who's a critical thinker. How, what is the pedagogy required? And so I'm going to throw that out to all of you. What type of pedagogy does it take to create a child who really can become a change maker? What, what would you say? This is sort of the interactive part of the seminar. <laughs> Thoughts? Inquiry-based learning. In inquiry learning, absolutely. Yes. Experiential learning. Mm -hmm. Experiential learning, yes. Like learning. Yes. yes. Let them do. And Let them do. Learning by doing. Learning by doing. Learning by doing. Reciprocal teaching. We what? do in our school reciprocal teaching. Reciprocal, we, we right. Let, we let students uh, teach and then teachers are acting like it. Let students teach, absolutely. What else are you are you all There's doing? There's a flipped classroom, the same that is where they are saying problem yeah. solving. Flipped yeah. classroom, so problem so solving. Provide the problem to the students and they come up with a solution on their own. That's so right. Critically thinking, collaborating. That's right. And then you see creativity coming together. That's perfect. You you all are completely on target. And, and that happens when we seed control over the, the, the hour or the two, which is hard. It's hard for educators. Trust me, it's hard for college professors. <laughs> um, but it's the only way, because just by saying things, it doesn't get planted in their minds. We all know that. But by letting them experience it, they absorb it, they learn from what worked, and they learn as much or even more from when failure happens. So the unconference format provides you with the same opportunity, right? Instead of sitting in the audience, and that was a, a great talk, it was very inspiring, a lot of really important ideas um, that Dr. Ashok shared. But we want to also hear your ideas and hear your input. So we're excited, plus it's cold in here, and I'm from Boston, I think this is cold. Um, so uh, we want you to be working and talking with each other because that's when ideas spark, and that's when the best ideas come. Because we don't, I, I always tell, tell people, I don't have all the answers, but I have a lot of questions, right? Mm -hmm. And that helps generate great ideas. So, um, Shavesh, if you want to come up and get us started, we're yes, excited yes, to hear yes. and learn from all of you.